Welcome to Overgo World, the channel for all things tech, vacations and holidays. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of the latest videos. Welcome to this video. Now, those of you who have subscribed to this channel will know that I've reviewed the Kindle Scribe um, and I've shown how to sort of use that with PDFs. Now, some of our viewers have asked that they've had some issues in terms of actually getting the PDFs onto the Kindle itself. So what I thought I'd do quickly in this video is show you a quick way of getting a PDF onto the Kindle Scribe. And there's a couple of ways of doing it, but I'm going to show you the quicker way. One way of doing it is actually emailing it to yourself using a particular email account that you've set up with Amazon for getting documents onto the uh, Kindle itself. And that's the way you can do it with some of the old Kindles as well. There is a much quicker way, and that's the way I'm going to show you now, and that's using the Kindle app. So make sure you download your Kindle app onto whether it's your iPhone or your um, uh, Android device so that you've got that on your phone. And you'll find that this is a much quicker way of dealing with things. So what I've done is I've actually opened up a PDF document here. It's a user manual for a TV. I've I've uh, so either have it in a PDF format. I've pulled this into uh, Adobe Acrobat, uh, that app on my um, iPhone, um, which is really useful for just managing PDFs and also converting documents into PDFs. So I've pulled it onto here. I want to get this onto here. So if I just touch the Kindle Scribe at the moment, just go to the home and you will see at the moment in my notebooks, I haven't got anything there in terms of the manual at the moment. So we'll see how long it actually takes to do this. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click on send a copy of this. So you can also do it by sharing a copy. And when you are sending it, you need to make sure it's in PDF format. I'm clicking on how do I want to share it. So normally you have options like mail, which is the way you do it if you were going to send it via email. I'm going to send it using the Kindle app, which is what I recommend is it's much quicker. So I'm going to click on the Kindle app and on the uh, Kindle app, it gives me an option to say, do I want to keep the original layout? And then it will be native PDF. If I click on that, I can change it to this format. So those of you who are familiar with sending PDFs to Kindles will know that there's two ways of doing it. The first way is just keeping the native PDF format. The other one is turning it into a format that Kindle can recognize to allow you to change the font size um, and sort of select the text. Um, the only thing is that it does throw out the layout if, if you want to do that. So I'm going to keep the original. So I'm now going to go back just click on there, click on, and before I click on, I'm going to click on send, and I'm going to just start a timer on my watch at the same time. It says the file has been sent, will be available in a few minutes. Here I am on my Kindle screen, so we are expecting it to turn up here. I'm going to give it about 30 seconds, and then I'm just going to force the sync just to make sure that it comes through. So we are just coming up to 20 seconds at the moment. We are now just about to come up to 30 seconds. And I'm just going to click on this arrow and just click on the sync to so just force the sync and then just push that back up. You may not need to force the sync, but it just does no harm. Uh, we're up to just coming up to 50 seconds now since we sent the uh, document. And we are almost coming up to the one mark, one minute mark now. So we've just gone over a minute. One minute, eight seconds so far. And it should be coming any second now. Normally it takes just over a minute. There we go. One minute, about one minute, 15 seconds. You can see that the item has now arisen there. So that, I click on that. It will download that, just open that up. And that's the same user manual that I've got on my iPhone there. For those of you who have subscribed to this, or if you just want to search on our YouTube channel, you'll see that we've shown how to 
um, sort of go through and look at PDF documents. So as you can see, that one is sort of mapping onto that page there. So I refer you to um, that video where you can find out uh, in terms of the different options with regard to PDFs and also writing uh, with regard to the different types of formats of PDFs on that other video. We've also got a video that we have just uh, uploaded on the actual Kindle cover itself. So this is the uh, denim uh, cover that this is actually in at the moment. So again, please feel free to view that video. Hope you found this useful. Thank you. Thanks for watching and as always, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video.